So what we like to do is play the last part. So here it is. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 51 Summer Arcs. In today's episode, we re-entered with a bit of reflection. We're still fascinated with how music and media productions go together. We've been watching a new series on one of our favorite streaming shows, and the music is extremely uh, spooky and exotic, and so is the series. Uh, we're also reading a new book about metaphors and analogs and how they work in the way we are conscious about things, and we feel like that's related to our idea of music and cross-dimensional composing. Um, like, what is hybrid reach? That's a metaphor. What is composing in motion? That's another metaphor. Uh, then we also began, uh, our main idea was to start working with our, our new hexatonic C1661 scale. And in particular, what we needed to do, if you remember, we had a, a 1661 scale that had 556, five, and then we invented a new one that had 668. Six, that means it's hexatonic. So we've calculated the consonances, and very interestingly, um, arguably, there this is an exact 1.2. This is a 1.17, and then the combined notes is one and a half, but the combined notes here keep it at about 1.2. Now, what is the key difference between these two scales? That shows over here. This five note, uh, five note six scale ha shares A flat and B flat. They're both urgy notes. But once we added the two green notes in here, uh, the A and the B flat, we split the urges apart, and that's going to give us a lot more chords. And, and we, in fact, went in and calculated how many more chords are we going to get. And the answer is we're going to get 52 or 54 predicted over here, which is not highly unusual. We've got 52 and 52 in these other scales, but it's definitely a lot higher than 18. <laughs> so that made us curious, like, do these sound very different, these two uh, 1661 scales? So that led us to making our first... Um, kind of an improvisation, which we're going to play for you. And all that we're doing here is contrasting the two scales and asking ourselves, are they same or different the way they sound? So here we go. And the first difference we note is that when we were working with 1661 by itself and the other 556 scales, uh, they all ended up, they wanted to end up on a B. So they kind of came in like this. C, C to B. But when we did these t together, they want to come in on So they're going up to a D flat instead of down to a B. So that caught our interest. So that concludes today's stream. Uh, our ideas for next time are, are to, uh, to further contrast these two variations on 1661. And in particular, we know that we're going to get, since we're going to get th almost, well, two and a half times as many chords, we're going to be able to compose more energy stories. And, and how do they compare with each other? I mean, after all, they're all using the same root and the same minor major mode. And they both have A flats and Bs, but in one, A flat and B are shared urges, and in the other, they are minor urges and major urges. And then finally, we have all those A's and B flats we could use, which is giving us room for subdominance and 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 probably more room for dominance at, at least with dyads if not with triads so we'll, we'll find out a uh, big shout out to miss cleo who kept us inspired uh, especially because we're still grinding out the notes here we got this is about how far we got this is where we counted up that there's 52 54 
and so far we've got six of them cranked out so you know to be continued here thank you for your time and attention tune in next time to see what happens next and take care do come back and do keep on streaming